Is this bitch on? Okay, it is. <laughs> Hello everybody. So I don't normally do breaking stories. I usually do kind of like longer, more dynamic video formats now, but I got some shit to say because I'm pretty peeved about this. Kamala Harris is now Biden's VP pick. Okay, my perspective as a Portlander who attends the protests as a part of media is how is this going to affect the protests in Portland? <sighs> I'm kind of doing a little impromptu, so bear with me. I guess the best way for me to start is just to be completely honest and say this is going to make things just way, way worse by a long shot. Now, full disclosure, I am voting Biden because I vote and I don't like Trump. So, and he also sent federal troops in here. Biden could send federal troops as well, but more if, if he does, it's gonna be, you know, he's gonna be equal with Trump, not, not worse. But anyway, I'll roll the dice on him before Trump, but gotta get that out of the way. Thing about the protests here is that you got a couple different types of people. You know, you got the violent extremists here, and then you got the protesters, the peaceful ones, who are probably about 95% of the individuals showing up, and then you have the police and then the media. So four different types of people that are showing up. Now, the violent individuals here, I guess you could also say the anarchists, generally speaking, they, well, not just the anarchists, excuse me, it's like the anarchists, and then there's like a little section that's also the violent protesters as well, but I digress. But generally speaking, and I study extremism, they, they being the violent extremists, the difference between them and the average person is the way in which they try to receive change. But in terms of the sentiments, they have the exact same sentiments. So for example, we all want justice reform here, more substantially, don't even get me started on the exact list. I could go on forever, you know, like for example, why are body cameras not, a, why is it not a national mandate when only I believe 40% of uh, police officers in the US use body cameras, you know, all sorts of things like that um, and civil immunities, so on and so forth. So when we're talking about these things, we're not just talking about the protesters, we're talking about the larger public who is also going to be looking at who Biden, Biden's VP pick is and who is being accommodated. So who is going to be accommodated by Biden having, uh, what's her face, Kamala Harris as the VP pick? Well, you have the corrupt system, the corporate system, you have moderates and you have the Republicans. I don't really like Trump because he's a little too radical, but they need something a little bit safer. So they go with Biden, who's kind of an international moderate, not so much a, a progressive. Um, so when we see that, we think that we're completely betrayed because of the fact that we are just trying to find just anything, anything substantial to just to hold on to. For example, in the federal troops are here, you know? Why do they have militaristic weapons? Give us something, just anything. But having a corrupt cop as the VP pick is a complete slap to the face. Give us, you know, a potential for Medicare for all, which in the middle of a pandemic, like give us something, which obviously that's not gonna happen, we know that. Justice reform, I get it. He's the guy that voted for the crime bill, but just give us something. Drugs, maybe not have the prosecutor who didn't even support the legalization of marijuana until 2015. And so I'm gonna give you guys a couple facts that really piss us off over here, okay? But just the point that I'm trying to make is who is being accommodated? And the question is, is she gonna piss us off more than Trump? Yes or no? And that's something that I'm going to save until the end. So check this out. So she pushed to help people find jobs instead of putting them in prison, but also fought to keep people in prison even after they're proven innocent. Also, all my sources are in the description box below. So. While she was the attorney general, uh, there was a man who was convicted of murdering his friend. He went to San Quentin prison. <laughs> there is an appeals court who found out that no, he was actually proven innocent. So he was let out. And then she put him back into prison for being late on his paperwork. And it's believed also that she did that because if he's in prison, then it won't mess up her, her essentially her, her <laughs> report card or her file. Now, she refused to pursue the death penalty against a man who killed a police officer, but also defended California's death penalty system in court. In addition to that as well, she implemented training programs to address police officers' racial biases, but also resisted calls to keep her office, or to get her office to investigate police shootings that were believed to be racially motivated. And again, don't even get me started with the drugs. Drugs also in Oregon is a big deal. A lot of people here want decriminalization of a lot of drugs and we're also one of the first states that passed marijuana. So the question is, 
does she piss us off more than Trump? Well, Trump is one of those individuals who he's right in front of us. He's always talking shit. We know he's going to do that. But what we're doing is we're fighting him at the same time as we're trying to hold like a little lifeline to get some help at the same time. And so imagine somebody falling because they're in a fight and then when they're falling, they're, they're trying to hold on to something so they don't face plant into the cement. And then who are we trying to hold on to? The Democratic Party. What did they do? They, you know, they jump out of the way and then we hit the, the cement. So who are we more mad at, Trump or Biden? Trump completely comes straight at us and we know that he's not on our side. Biden tries to somewhat accommodate us, but then goes and pivots right. Kamala Harris is a slap to the face. If he wants a woman of color, why not Nina Turner so we all have a reason to vote for him? We're all gonna be like, yes, Nina Turner, there we go. Thank you, Biden. You're giving us a little positive gesture that we can hold on to, but we have nothing to hold on to. So is the protest going to get worse? There are, they are gonna get worse. Just quote me on this. <laughs> are we going to be more upset with her than Trump? Yeah, yeah, because this is a slap to the face and a stab to the back. Trump is just trying to punch you in the face, you know, point blankly. It's pretty obvious. Again, not my opinion. I'm, I'm giving you guys the facts of the situation, and I'm sorry that this is the way it is, but it is the way that it is, which is why I wanted to create this kind of impromptu video and you know, just give a hot take. But anyway, thank you guys.